Hello everyone, my name is Shamika Tompkins and I'm an independent consultant of Paparazzi's Accessories. My consultant ID is 91773. I just wanted to come over and briefly give you five tips about paparazzi and ways to be successful. So the five key points that I want to go over are just this. Number one, as you probably hear this time and time and time again, be consistent. If you are consistent in your business, if you are consistently ordering new inventory, if you are consistently showing up and being available when people when you say you're going to be, if you say that your lives are going to be Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9 p.m. like mine are, show up Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9 p.m. If you have a drastic emergency, something that absolutely cannot wait, then please notify your customers. Put a post up. Let them know, hey, the same way you communicate with them about how you're going to show up, let them know when you're not able to. Okay? So be as consistent as possible. So be consistent is number one. Be available. When people comment on your posts, respond to their comments. When someone inboxes you or messages you, they could message anybody, but they are messaging you. So be available, respond to them. Give them the attention that they need and that they deserve as a customer. That's, good. That's just good basic uh, customer service. Nobody wants to send an email or send a text or send any kind of communication and be ignored. Be visible. Post, post post be visible be visible on different platforms okay if you have an opportunity to speak for whatever reason say you're in um you're a minister or say that you have other speaking engagements that you go to or you do different things in the community when you're there throw a plug in about your business throw a plug in about your business why not as long as it's appropriate now i don't want anybody to be at a funeral um praying and they said and by the way i say a pop we're not going to, you know, we're going to be appropriate, but be visible as you show up. Talk about your business. If you're out somewhere and a conversation sparks up about anything or everything, throw in your information about your business. If somebody says, hey, what do you do for a living? Yes, I'm a nurse, but that's not the first thing I lead with. I lead with, I'm an independent consultant of paparazzi. I sell that $5 jewelry and I'm a nurse. That's what I do. Okay, because I am the jewelry lady. So be visible. Be honest. Be honest with your customers. If you say you're going to ship on Saturday, if you say you're going to ship on Monday, if you say you're going to do anything, be honest. Do what you say you're going to do because you said you were going to do it. Uh, affordable. Please be affordable. And I know people are probably saying, what do you mean be affordable? Paparazzi sets the price. Paparazzi does set the price for the jewelry. Paparazzi does not set the price for the shipping. So if you have to ship items, then make sure that when you ship, you're shipping to your customers at the most reasonable rate possible. I use Pirate Ship. I absolutely love Pirate Ship. It generates a, a tracking number. Everything is logged on my screen. I can go and see when it was delivered, when it's in transit, I can get the tracking number. Somebody has the issue with anything, I can always say, well, hey, your package says it's been delivered. Just want to do a quick follow-up. And they can say, no, I never got it. And I can say, uh-oh, let's problem solve this thing. And that has happened. But because I had all the data right there available, I didn't have to go through my receipts that I got through the post office from going in, doing my individual mails. I had everything I needed to get the issue resolved at an affordable rate because yes, pirate ship is much cheaper than going into the actual post office. Um, be fair, please be fair. If you post pictures of your jewelry, of your inventory, or if you go live and more than one person comments on your, um, on your images and it's like, okay, well, I only have five, um, six people commented, this person commented first, but I like this person more, so I'm gonna give it to this person. Be fair, be fair. So if ever you're called out, if ever anybody says, hey, you know, I commented before this person, you can always show them the screenshot that says, you know what, you did comment and on your side on Facebook, it may have shown up that you commented first, but on my side, it showed up that this person commented first. And that way you can be held accountable, you can be honest and you can be fair and nobody can challenge that because you have your documentation in the form of that screenshot of where the comments came through on your end however when you don't have that and you try to do things that's kind of sideways you know and you try to look out for somebody else or look out for that person then it's like you know what 
you don't have a leg to stand on and people don't want to do business with people who are not honest and who are not fair. Okay, so those are my five tips. Excuse me, those are my six tips for today. So just wanted to come in really briefly and share those with you all. I will have more um, information available regarding paparazzi and ways to be successful. I have been an independent consultant since 2017 and I love paparazzi. I am rocking and rolling in this business. If you are looking for someone to join with, my name is Shamika Tompkins and my consultant ID is 91773. I would love to have you on my team. Please feel free to go to my site, www.lovelubdubjewels.net and click join my team. I would love to be able to help support you and guide you through the process of paparazzi because there is joy in paparazzi. That Paparazzi is fun fashion jewelry and I love to bring people in because I know that I'm opening up an opportunity for them to grow. Okay, paparazzi works if you work it. Y'all take care, be blessed, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye now.